So I got my baby back on the road. I am happy to be driving her. I do miss the tinted windows in my wife's car though. She needed her timing belt replaced. I went ahead and replaced the water pump, the tensioner, and uh, what else did I replace? The rotor inside the distributor, valve cover gasket, all new fluids. She should be good to go for a while at least. I created a new logo for the channel. The old one just kind of looked eh. The new one is nice and i'll probably be making t-shirts and some decals you can buy some delivery driven merch all us drivers are delivery driven this channel isn't just about me i mean i guess it is but i'm sure all the struggles i go through as a delivery driver are pretty much your all's too so i don't know six eight months ago a store in the <laughs> closed down and our delivery areas butt up to each other our cut off <laughs> avenue and when they closed our owner <laughs> he said we are not picking up any of the area I can remember you know a dozen times of him saying this shit so last night we get this order to a street that's out of our area that is or was delivery area so we didn't take it the woman argued with us you know was pissed it's like it's out of our area we got to have a cutoff and you're out outside of that cutoff yeah it's two streets outside but we were busy and you know we're not taking deliveries out of our area because if we take it now then we're always gonna have to take it and if we take yours then why not go two more streets out of the area so then that's four streets I mean, you gotta have a cutoff. So she bitched and bitched. She called this morning. She talked to the owner. The owner's like, yeah, we go there. What the fuck? Why don't you have your managers back? You know? Why don't you have any of your staffs back? Why do you always bow down to the fucking customers? I get it. They put money in your pocket. But a small pizza out of our area is not, is not hurting you. So from now on, our delivery area is half of the delivery area, which he claims he's always said that, which is bullshit. I mean, the assistant managers and the GM were all just like, what? You've never said that. You've always said the complete opposite. I just don't understand. I mean, if we're going to the area, that's fine. We'll just make it fucking clear that we're going to that area. Don't contradict yourself all the fucking time. Don't say, no, we're not picking up the area. And then say, oh, yeah, I, I always said we're doing it. Yeah. I, it's like, no, no, you didn't. Fuck you. Never have a want, never have a need. As expected, the delivery to the drug rep is zero on the tip. These fucking drug reps, man, I swear. My next delivery is not a drug rep, it's actually to a church. So maybe uh, I'll be like that next guy that got a $800 tip from a church. That'd be fucking sweet. That would be amazing. That would help out tremendously. Let's say you got an $800 tip. What would you do with it? And you can't say pay bills. Assume all your bills are paid and you owe nobody nothing because that's just too easy. Obviously, you're going to pay your bills with it. So, assume all your bills are paid and you owe nobody. What would you do with $800 if you got tipped $800? Post those comments below. That's uh, to a nursing home. God damn it. Yeah, I'm not getting a tip. Nursing home nurses are the worst. I can't say all. There are a few that tip really well. But I would say the majority, terrible. So the nursing home order, I didn't have a credit card or nothing. I just assumed it was gonna be cash. I get there, nobody knows who in the fuck it's for. 
the person on the ticket is off today and so it's just like seriously and so I call the store I'm like hey what's up with this order nobody knows who it's for and there's no form of payment oh it's a gift from one of the the patient's family to the staff and they already paid for it okay it'd be nice to fucking know I mean seriously as a delivery driver I need to know who it goes to and whether it's been paid for or not it's fucking bullshit so I'm there for you know 15 minutes when I could have dropped it off and just left so not only are you wasting my time you're wasting other people's times the customers because their food could have, could have already been on its way you know it's just it's the lack of communication is what fucking kills this place you know the whole you know delivery area bullshit if you want us to deliver to a certain area just fucking say it tell everybody that way everybody knows there's no confusion communication communicate tell people you're the owner the, the fucking GM didn't even know it's just ridiculous mm. back when I was a manager we've had whole meetings devoted to communication nothing's fucking changed nothing will change nobody really gives a fuck about their job is what it boils down to and yeah obviously I guess I am part of the problem because I quit fucking caring but if you watch episode one and episode two you'll know fucking why the amount of fuckery that goes on is just unbelievable sometimes I wonder how this store fucking stays open I mean if it wasn't for the product being so good the store would have shut down years ago you know people will tolerate assholes as long as the product you're selling is fucking good that's the only thing this place has going for it is the fucking product that's it no soup for you because all the employees are dumbasses and 90% of the people I work with have some sort of degree most of them graduated from the University of Louisville so that's not really saying much but you know they they are the smartest dumbasses that I know and I feel like you know my generation and you know possibly the generation below me grew up with common sense and most of the people I work with are in my generation or a generation behind or a generation above but I feel like the older they get the common sense is just kind of deteriorating good afternoon one large crab bisque to go Red. Beautiful. You're pushing your luck, little man. Sorry. Thank you.